Action News Jack's Jamarlo Phillips was live throughout our morning show this morning right on the water's edge. And now, new at noon, he picks up our team coverage live from St. Simons Island. Jamarlo, the Coast Guard, taking every precaution, they say. And now that everyone is off the ship, the Coast Guard is working to remove it here from the sound. They're also trying to investigate to figure out why it overturned in the first place. Operations at one of the busiest seaports for shipping vehicles were put on hold. A spokesman for the Port of Brunswick told Action News Jax the port will remain closed as long as an overturned vessel carrying over 4,000 vehicles continues to sit in the water. It's something people who live and work in St. Simons Island say could do some harm to the environment. We've been reading about it. We're keeping an eye on what's going. We definitely haven't seen a, this before. You know, there's 4,200 cars on the boat, so we're all worried. And Hope they can get all the fuel and everything off. Sky Action News Jax exclusively captured the rescues of four crew members trapped inside the ship Monday. In a tweet, the U.S. Coast Guard said crews shifted their focus to environmental protection Tuesday, saying there are currently no leaks from the vessel, only a light residual sheen. The owner of this pizza shop is hoping the ship is removed sooner rather than later. There's a lot of people in Brunswick that work at the port, even further impact inland that work at the port. And and who knows where those cars are going? Who knows who that impacts? A spokesman for the Port of Brunswick tells me it is unclear when the port will reopen. In the meantime, the cause of it, the cause of why it overturned, still being investigated. Reporting here at St. Simons Island, I'm Jamarlo Phillips, CBS 47 Fox 30 Action News Jack.